I think most people have the good sense that when they look at statistics that uh, certain races make more money than other races, I think most people have the good sense that it's a social justice issue, right? It doesn't mean that there's an advantage to being white, but yet, when it comes to marital status, so depending on which study you look at, married, uh, especially men, tend to make 20 to 30 or 40 percent, depending on the area of career. And usually when I see a study like that, it's touting the benefits of marriage, right? You don't hear too many people say the benefits of getting surgery to change your skin color, right? Nobody would ever say that, right? But for some reason, when it's marriage, it's perfectly okay to tell that, right? Even though it's a personal choice, just like whether or not you want to get surgery, right? Now, and then people say, well, it's a small difference, you know. Hey, you know, maybe um, your coworkers who are married, they need to take care of family members who have COVID-19. That's a small sacrifice, right? You, you have the time to do it. What else are you going to do? Well, I'd like to, to differ on that. And the reason is that those small changes compound over time. So, if you if you have a 401k, chances are you've heard how much those fees could eat into your retirement savings over a long period of time, right? So if you're investing over a 40-year career, you're investing 2581 a year. I guess that's the average. And your fees are 0.06% versus 1.14%. At the beginning, it doesn't seem like much. Every year, it doesn't seem like much. At the end, it's a $200,000 difference. Now, go back to the discrimination against singles. Ah, eh, you can work Saturday, right? You don't have anything better to do. Well, the problem is you're working Saturday. You're, you're giving up on something, right? Maybe it, it, it increases your stress. It makes you eat a little bit more fast food. That one or two fast food meals probably isn't gonna kill you right away, right? But it contributes to other problems. And then, uh, not to mention, it makes, with those health problems, it makes it that much harder to find somebody to marry, right? And then you compound more stuff on top of it. And why do you think singles live to be, I think, three to four years shorter than their married counterparts, right? When you control for all the other factors. Uh, singles really are being nickeled and dimed to death, if you think about it. Thanks for watching.